YouTube and welcome back to my Let's Play The Sims 4 and I have designed yet another house. Um, this one is uh, my third house. I'm actually doing the third one, um, second as a video and then doing the other one. This because this one has now become uh, my absolute favorite house that I've designed um, so far. Um, I uh, built this thing oh, almost a month ago now. It's It's been a while. I've just been too busy to record um, a walkthrough and um, I never record as I'm building because I'm kind of a sporadic builder and so it doesn't work very well for videos. So, but anyway, here is my brand new house and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I just thought I would take everyone on a little tour. So you can just see the, the front here and everything. And I'm kind of using this without the, uh, without the UI on it. So, um, you'll excuse me while I, um, try and, and manipulate this a little bit without the UI, but I think I can put the UI back as I can navigate better with it. Um, anyway. Um, so I just wanted to uh, just kind of show you the house without all of the uh, bells and whistles of the game And we're just gonna go around on the side here You can see I actually did some nice landscaping and everything lots of windows and then as you come to the back I have a nice enclosed um, patio with a, uh, a fountain and and some uh, furniture and things and uh, we can uh, just kind of zoom in here a little bit closer um, I tried to kind of get the architecture in here kind of nice and I got these little extra um, extensions of the house um, on either side of this patio and then I just kind of made it nice and private with a uh, um, kind of a nice fence with a gate and everything and just kind of made it kind of as private as possible and everything and I did a little bit more landscaping in the back um, and such and I could have put a pool in here um, but at the time I started building this the pools weren't available yet and I haven't gone back in and, and changed it so I could do that as a pool but I kind of like the fountain look um, for this house so um, I think I'm gonna keep it as a fountain um, I didn't do any landscaping on the sides of the house um, at this point. Um, I kind of built it on this lot here where there's um, this kind of nice uh, public um, garden and stuff kind of in the back. There's all this, like there's a public bench back here and there's um, flowers and some of these are actually um, things that I can be interacted with, not everything can be, but um, so my sim, while there's loading screens to go here and visit this neighbor, <laughs> there's no loading screens to go anywhere around here, which is kind of interesting, but you know, whatever. Um, anywho, so that is the exterior of the house. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go all the way down to the main level here. And we'll just kind of zoom in really closely so you kind of get a a bird's eye view of what it is to kind of come into this house and then I'm going to take the uh, the walls um, partially down so we can kind of have a nice little walkthrough so you kind of walk in here and you've got the stairs uh, two staircases upstairs and then you kind of walk through and then you've got the door out to the patio out there um, but then we'll go this way and uh, you know, if you were actually living in this house, if the walls were up, it would look more like uh, like this. Um, you know, coming into here and kind of looking through over here with the stairs and everything. So kind of giving you um, an actual like living uh, view. So I'll, I'll, I'll be taking the, the walls up and down as we kind of go through this. Here's a door to a bathroom, which as I take the walls down, you can kind of see that better. It's a little too small to uh, to see with the uh, with the walls up entirely. But this is just a little vanity with a with a toilet and, and that kind of thing. And there's my little Sim sitting in the back there, but I'm not going to um, um, highlight her because this is just a, a walkthrough of her house. And so we come in here and over here we have a little sitting area um, in this room with a uh, bookshelf and lots of windows and things. And see, this is why I have to kind of take the walls down occasionally because I can't always um, have other walls in the way. And I've got this huge big screen TV um, and kind of like this kind of rustic furniture kind of going on with, the, with this house, kind of mission style and everything. And I put in a... Um, aquarium here. Well, not an aquarium, a fishbowl. Um, so if she ever goes fishing, she can she can actually have a fish, that kind of thing. And then as we kind of come through into here, here's our study, and here's our, our kind of a desk area and things. And um, I kind of put this up um, over the window. I you know 
kind of silly, but I just felt like doing that. So, <laughs> um, and then here's like you know chess um, for hobbies, and there's the um, uh, if you're gonna play around with uh, with bonsai trees, here's a bonsai tree, and then here's the easel. Um, there's a lot of mood things that can be helped by playing with the bonsai and the and and painting and that kind of thing. So, and then here's also uh, again doors out to the patio, and we'll we'll go out to the patio. Um, last um, before we head upstairs but um, now going back through the foyer and into the dining room and so we've got a bar here and I, one of the things I didn't do is I did not put um, stools here people can uh, you know make drinks and stuff and then go sit down in the uh, in the dining room instead and I've got a little china cabinet in there and of course I, I added a rug um, and just a little little bit of decor here and there to kind of kind of make things kind of nice and then we walk here into the kitchen, which you know it, it, it kind of looks at the moment like it's open to the uh, uh, to the outside world, uh, to the you know to the dining room, and it is, but it's opened with a with kind of an arched uh, archway here instead of completely open and everything. So it's not completely open concept, um, and it's an eat-in kitchen and everything. But let's go ahead and take the walls down again, and it's a it's a it's a fairly nice basic kitchen. Um, you know, nice and big, lots of counter space. Put little details in here. I love, I love all the little details you can put into these things. So you've got like the wine rack over here. Uh, you got the, the the knives over here. Of course, your your uh, basic appliances. But like, I have a cookie jar and the and the various different types of of utensils and things you can have. And a, um, I think this is the tea maker, so the coffee maker. Um, and a little spice rack, that kind of thing. And then I do love um, the, the options that you get now with all the cabinets. So you can have the cabinets above the fridge, you can have the cabinets above the, um, the vent for the stove, and then you've got this little corner cabinet over here. So um, they've got a lot of nice little features now with, with designing and that kind of thing. And so finally, and then um, once again, there's a, there's a doorway here. We'll put the, the walls up for a second. Um, to see from the kitchen that you can have this doorway out to the patio. Once, once we take the walls down, uh, we come out here to the patio and the uh, and lovely um, fountain and everything. And we've got our grill and seating areas and that kind of thing. So that's the main, <clears throat> excuse me, the main floor of the, uh, of the house. And then coming back to um, the front of the house and the stairs, uh, we can kind of go up the st upstairs. So we'll go ahead and uh, bring that up here. And then I've kind of got a large um, open um, area up here that the stairs going to land into. And I haven't done too much with the space. I haven't quite decided what I wanted to do with the space. I, I put this little flower cart here just for uh, detail and stuff, but that's about it. But what I did design in this house is a double master uh, bedroom. So you've got uh, um, one master bedroom over here and one master bedroom over here. So, which is kind of... You know, about 20% um, of all new home homes these days are actually being designed with double masters because you know people are finding that they're um, enjoying sleeping separately in the separate bedrooms. So um, you know, once you're done with your woohooing, you can go go sleep by yourself if you want to, <laughs> or you know, just be roommates or like you know, mom and dad over here and t kid over over there, and they have a big suite for themselves. You know, you can you can do it whatever you want. But I just decided to have two. Uh, master suites and they're identical except for the the coloring on the bed so the the bed the the furniture the you know the TV having a, um, a laundry basket here even though the laundry baskets are decorative only and non-functional at this point um, so you know basic basic master bedroom there are lots of windows um, which I always like uh, lots of windows in my homes um, you have your medicine cabinets here, and you can actually see if I bring the walls up, um, like this. Nope, nope. It won't, uh, let me show you. But you've got a medicine cabinet and uh, little towel details and that kind of thing, um, on either side here, which you can't really see if I have the walls down. Um, and then we'll just kind of go back to doing this. And you'll see here that this uh, master suite is identical to the other one, um, with the exception of having just a slightly different um, color uh, pattern on the uh, the bed on the bedding. 
Otherwise, it's identical in pretty much every single way. I mean, even down to the same um, towel racks and that kind of thing, and you know, little details like toilet paper and such. And uh, and then just kind of going back up um, to the upstairs to the roof and everything. Um, I added just a couple of little details. This is the roof detail over here that I added, which happens to have the same design as these two little windows that I have in here, which uh, I thought just kind of added a nice little touch. Um, and then I have a chimney up here, uh, which kind of matches um, the, the, the rest of the house design pretty well. Um, although there is no fireplace <laughs> in the home. Uh, you, you, you no longer have to match a fireplace with a chimney. Uh, but it's just a nice little detail that I kind of liked the look of um, to kind of give us uh, a kind of a nice kind of Spanish style home look and then I added little details like these flower boxes which I thought kind of added a little little nice touch um, and then just you know kind of the sculpted um, greenery and things in the front and you'll notice that I have I, I often have uh, a walkway with lights along it because I kind of like that look on, on my homes but anyway that is um, that is my uh, my next kind of house walkthrough and I actually have another house uh, that's much more ultra modern with swimming pools and everything else um, that I've designed um, that I will walk you guys through the next time I get a chance to record one of these things um, I hope that you enjoy this walkthrough if you did please give it a thumbs up please share it uh, tell the world uh, I would appreciate that I do have these homes up in um, the, the, the new, uh, online feature, uh, the, the gallery and stuff where you can actually go onto the website and look at it and then download it into your game. So if you want this house, uh, you just have to look for Kleinigans, um, and, uh, and I'll, I'll have a link down below, um, to it as well. I think I can, I think I can link to it. So I'll go ahead and link, um, to it in the gallery and you can just kind of Go, go get it and, uh, and, sh and and download it if you like this house. And, you know, feel free to, I mean, duh, uh, do whatever you want to it once you get it into your game. <laughs> you want you don't want double master bedrooms? Well, you can change it. I don't care. <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.